G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this workshop all about crafting and creating a global navigation experience that displays the right links to the right people at the right time to really give them that personal, uh, really nice user experience when they uh, land on your SharePoint intranet or your hub site. Uh, so let's just get stuck into it. Now we can see here that I'm on a hub site that is called Global Sales. Now this hub site has a number of different uh, associated sites, some of which are communication sites, some of which are team sites. Now some of these team sites are private sites or restricted access, so only uh, certain people uh, can access those, but we want that available in our global navigation, but not necessarily for people to see. Now there's a couple of different approaches when we're building out our global nav. So we can see at the top of, just under the, the Microsoft 365 suite bar here, we've got our hub site or our global uh, navigation or our hub navigation. And if I jump into an associated site, let's say retail operations, again, this is a communication site, we're taking on the brand and the theme and also the global navigation retains uh, or, or flows across all the associated sites. If I jump into sales and marketing, you can see that I've got this uh, SharePoint team site. Now you'll also notice that it's associated to a Microsoft team by this little uh, icon here and clicking that icon will actually take you to the Microsoft Teams channel um, for or the team for this particular uh, site. Now, what if we had uh, some private sites or some, some restricted sites that are part of this hub, but we want that as part of our global navigation. So what we can do is we can combine our global nav, so the, the security uh, that comes with the, uh, the membership of that group or that team, but we can also use audience targeting in our global navigation. So it will only show for the members of that particular team, okay? so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sales and marketing um, uh, team as our example. Now, let's jump back onto our global sales hub site here, and I'm going to click edit. Now, what we can see in our panel on the left-hand side here is that we can enable site navigation audience targeting, all right? So it's off by default, but when we turn that on and hit save, that is going to allow us to audience target our links in our global navigation. So if I now hit edit, and I'm going to just create a new link under here, let's call this, uh, so what we'll do is let's grab, and I'll jump over here to our um, sales and marketing, and I'll just grab the URL of that site, and I'm going to then pop that address in here. All right, so I will, the display name, I'm just gonna pop a little icon here to, uh, and we'll go with a little emoji just to say, and just reiterate that this is a private site and we'll go sales and marketing. All right, so that is our display name. We've got our link and we've got the option. It's going to be a link. Now we can see here that we've got an option now for audience to target. All right, so if I pop in sales and marketing, what this will do is if I go sales, uh, sales and marketing members, all right? So what this will do is this will only show for uh, users that are part of that sales and marketing members group, all right? And that will then allow us, if we then, I'm just going to paste, repaste this, link in there and we've got sales and marketing members and we click OK. Now you'll also see that we've got this little uh, icon that appears next to our navigation item now. So that shows us that this link has been audience targeted. All right. So if we hit save and then if we jump up into sales and marketing, you can see that this has got this sales and marketing team or group has got 20 members. So that link that we just created will only show for these 20 members that are part of the members group, all right? So we can see there that is, um, that is the sales and marketing link, but will only show to those people.
all right? So if I jump back onto sales and marketing here, uh, what we might do is let's have a look at another user that is not part of this. So what we might do, let's get, um, let's remove Alex from this group. So Alex has now been removed and let's jump over to Alex's um, uh, browser and then we'll have a look and see what that experience is like for a person that's outside of that, uh, that members group. So let's jump across to Alex uh, and you can see here that Alex is on the global sales uh, hub site here, but you'll notice that he doesn't have access to that sales and marketing link that has been audience targeted at the sales and marketing uh, members. And if I jump back into this account here, which is just the admin account, you can see that I've got that sales and marketing link there. So we can craft, start to craft some really great user experiences uh, across the global navigation or any navigation, even the site navigation at the site level if we wanted to as well, enable audience targeting across there and really build a customized uh, um, navigation structure that really does only show the navigation items to the right people at the right time. So you're not inundated with big long lists of, of uh, drop downs and cascading menus. You can really target those at specific people and as an admin you've got control over that and when you hit the edit button in the navigation you can see which links have been targeted at specific audiences as well so i hope that brings you some value combining both restricted sites from a security because remembering we're in this flat architecture so we need to build out these navigation experiences in this way and really provide that connective tissue to users to allow them to navigate and and um make their way around your family of sites, in this case, our global sales hub site. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.